So you know our next guest from the wildly popular show, Ted Lasso. Well, now Nick Muhammad is starring in the show Renegade Nell as the magical sidekick of the most notorious outlaw in 18th century England. That sounds so fascinating. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So you play a spiritual guide, which yes. Gio and I just love. <laughs> and like Jiminy Cricket, you get to fly. Tell us about this. Yeah, I do. I get to, I'm usually about that size, although he can shape shift. But yeah, I often get to fly around. So I was on wires for nearly all of it. Oh my God. Okay, so were there any mishaps? Oh, tons. I mean, I, I mean, you know, no discredit to the stunt people who were phenomenal at making all that work. But I, when I was in the training for it, I really kind of went for it because I was excited about it, and, and then just threw up pretty much oh every my time. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, look, there you oh, are. There's a video there. Okay. That's so cool. Oh yeah, look at that. yeah. It was all that stuff. Yeah. Absolutely acrobatic. It was. I mean, it was. It was so fun. It was like a childhood dream, though, to do that. So, <laughs> By the end, did you have it down of like total control? Yeah, you kind of you do get used to it, and um, it's. I mean, it's just that thing of trying to make it look as real as real as possible as if there's no gravity but you know there is right. gravity so you kind of have to kind of counteract it <laughs> <laughs> we do have a clip from the show when your character billy blind meets now why don't we take a look at that oh okay don't don't scream you need to look up oh i've been racking my brains trying to work out the best way of introducing myself without giving you a shock nelly jackson frankly there isn't one of course it isn't absolutely necessary that i should introduce myself but in your case, I had a sneaking suspicion it might pop up sooner rather than later. So you weren't kidding about being very small a Yeah, I mean, I'm quite short in real life, but I'm even, <laughs> smaller. I'm even smaller in this, yes. What is, what are the differences in acting when you have such a scale difference between you and the people that Well, actually, Louisa and I, we never got to do any of our scenes together. So I was, I was finishing on Ted Lasso when they were filming principal photography on, on Renegade Now. And so, um, but even then, it was such a kind of, you know, green screen and wire work and so on that we just were never in the same place. So, I, I mean, I was lucky. I had a lot of coverage, Louisa's coverage to kind of go on, but um, she just usually had an eye line. So technically, it was actually quite challenging. It's um, wild. It's so interesting. Yeah. Okay, so you mentioned Ted Lasso. You're only yeah. in town a couple of days and said you got to see Jason yeah, sorry, last night. Yeah, yeah. any chance of another season yeah it's definitely happening it's um, going to be two hours long and it's a musical no I mean it's well, just, I, 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 really? I was like I just got so excited <laughs> click me no, no, no. It's, it's not I don't know I don't know we had a good chat about it yesterday but you know yeah. Of, of course, everyone remembers how your character just rips, you know, that, oh, that belief yeah. sign. That people are still upset about that. Yeah, and rightly so. You know, I think people really, you know, took a bit of a gut punch when Nate did that. And so, yeah, it was, I guess, it, you know, that, that symbol, the belief sign, had become quite um, iconic to a degree in terms of sort of symbolizing what the show was about and so on. And so I think to kind of rip it in two was just, uh, you know, people took it really personally. Who kept it? Does anybody have it from the cast? Oh, I'm sure Jason must have it, yeah, surely. Have yeah. It. Yeah. I mean, you've been doing a lot more than just your wire work. You've become very popular from the show. you got an action comedy coming out too, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, called Deep Cover um, with um, Bryce Dallas Howard and Orlando Bloom that Colin Trevorrow produced and Tom Kingsley directed. And we just finished last week and, uh, yeah, comes out, I think, towards the end of this year. And I know you said you're flying back home to London tonight. Yeah. How is it doing all of this while having three young kids at home? Oh, it's well, it's all credit to my wife who, I mean, you know, I, I've got the easy job really, you know, getting to sort of fly up and do things, but um, it's, I really miss them. But, um, but yeah, they're blessed and they're brilliant. And uh, yeah, I've, I, I flew on Wednesday, so it's not been too, too long, but, uh, but yeah, I can't wait to get back. Do they know what you do? Like, do they have a grasp of they, it? They do. I mean, we've got eight year old, six year old and a one year old. She doesn't know, but, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, Finn and Arthur, uh, they the thing is they it's all they've kind of like known really yeah. so they they're always far less impressed than I kind of want them to be they're just like well yeah it's your job sure. yeah. Right <laughs> go <Kids>. work yeah, <laughs> yeah. <You're humble. laughs> thank you so much for thank being you for here. having me Thanks. and Renegade Nell is streaming now only on Disney plus well hey there GMA fans Robin Roberts here thanks for checking out our YouTube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.